Today, I'm gonna to show you how to send tempo to all of your pedals over MIDI. In the month of March, we've been putting a huge focus on MIDI, how to get the most out of it over your pedal board and answering some of the basic questions of how do I even start to use MIDI on my pedal board. Today is no exception we are gonna focus on tempo. How to send tempo to your pedals that have MIDI capability and to the pedals that don't. We want to be able to send tempo across your whole board via your MIDI controller. You might be wondering why would I even want to sync up all my pedals on my pedal board with the same tempo. You might not, but for some people, this is a really key feature that they wanna be able to have access to. If you have a song that has a percussive delay that precisely fills in the gaps of your playing, or you need to lock into the tempo that your drummer has set on his metronome, then you might want to consider sending tempo across your whole board. This briefly means you can hit one button on your MIDI controller and all of the pedals on your board can change a whole bunch of parameters, tempo being one of them. It's worth noting as well that not all MIDI controllers can send tempo to pedals that don't have MIDI capabilities. Let's say you have a Boss DD5, which can accept external tempo, but not over MIDI. You need a specific type of MIDI controller to be able to talk with this pedal. A lot of MIDI controllers that can switch amp channels and have some sort of external control like that will be able to send tempo, but I just urge you to check ahead of time before purchasing a MIDI controller to make sure that it does this if it's a feature that you need. I should also mention at the outset, if you guys want the PVC file I'm about to create in this video, just comment below, give me the file, and I'll send you a link so you can download it. Without further ado, let's get into the practicalities of this video and setting up tempo across your entire pedal board. All right, so we are now in the RJM computer programmer and we are basically going to first set up a function switch to talk to our Boss DD5 type pedals, the pedals that need external manual tap control, not over MIDI. So we are gonna first set up a function switch. We're gonna use number one. We're gonna set it to momentary. We're also gonna set up right now that we're on this screen, the auto tap feature. Tap is just the amount of taps that are gonna be sent out of the function switch every time you use this feature. So you might use the feature at 120 BPM. The PVC will send out four taps at 120 BPM and we are gonna use this on macro zero for this auto tap feature, which leads us into uh, macros. Before I go there, I'm just gonna show you that I have set up the timeline on MIDI channel one in devices. If you need more info on this, check out the link above for setting up MIDI devices. You only need to set up the pedals you're gonna be communicating with over MIDI on this page. Not a pedal like the DD5, which doesn't have MIDI because you can't set it up because it doesn't have MIDI. Now we're gonna to go to macros. A macro is a fancy way of saying multiple MIDI actions at once. So we can send any number of commands over MIDI whenever this macro is recalled. So today we're only gonna use this for tempo and we're gonna set up the function switch in here. Function switch is under audio, function switch, and as you recall on that global page, we're gonna use function switch number one. We're also, because we wanna control both a DD5 style pedal and a pedal over MIDI, we wanna control both of their tempos at the same time, so we're gonna put this in the same macro here. And we're gonna do the timeline, which we set up. We're gonna to go to tap tempo, I made the mistake of setting up the tap button without even thinking. That is incorrect. That's in the looper section of the timeline. You want tap tempo. So now we have the timeline set up over MIDI for tempo and we have, uh, today we're going to be using an H9 uh, and we're going to be controlling its tempo with that uh, manual external control, not over MIDI. So that macro is now set up. On the global pages we have the auto tap set up. And now we can make some presets. We're gonna do preset one. This is gonna be our slow song. You just woke up in the morning, haven't had your coffee yet, but you gotta practice guitar. You're gonna do it at a slower tempo. 
We are going to set the tempo over here to 50 BPM. You can also do this if you're creating song lists really quickly. You can set the tempo here uh, for your songs instead. Uh, that is going to be a separate video, but um, if you want to do it per preset, this is how we're going to do it today. Slow song, we're going to do the had my coffee, and this is going to be set at 100. And preset number three, I went too far. Too many coffees. And again, this uh, side of the vertical bar will not show up in the PVC. It's just for reference, just for fun. Um, so we are also going to keep these all on the same preset. We're going to keep them on preset number two in the timeline. You can also just turn presets off by the PC messages off, sorry, in the timeline by taking that box, but we're just going to send them every time just for fun. I went too far is going to be set to, let's go 200. Nice fast tempo for your overly caffeinated self. So what we can do now is upload these changes. And while that's uploading, essentially what we're doing now is we've set three presets. So the first preset is going to send tempo to the H9 manually and to the timeline over MIDI. They're going to see the same tempo. They're going to see 50 BPM on preset one. I think it was 100 BPM on preset two and 200 BPM on preset three for the song, I Went Too Far. So let's actually try this out. We are going to start with preset one here and we should see tempo change. We're controlling uh, a chorus over here. So you're gonna see this set up in Hertz and we're controlling a tempo here, which you're gonna see in BPM. So we have a chorus and a delay. Let's see if we're actually set to 50. Nice and slow tempo. Now we wanna go here after our first coffee. Nice. And way too fast, I went too far. So now we are able to set our tempos across multiple pedals, whether they have MIDI or they don't. We can do this with the function switch on the PVC and all is well with the world. Except we've all been there when you're playing a live set and your drummer blacks out and forgets to listen to his metronome. He may have lost his metronome in his in-ears mix and completely goes off track. you are now locked into these tempos on your presets and you can't easily change them across your whole pedal board to accommodate for your drummer's loose interpretation of the tempo so he can feel the music. I hope you see what I'm getting at here. You need some manual control over your pedals when it comes to tempo. You don't want to be locked in to one tempo per preset. You want to be able to adjust it on the fly. So let's set that up. We're gonna to go to a buttons page on the screen here. We have our presets here. We're gonna take this first button, bottom left. We're gonna make it global, which means every page on the PBC is now gonna have this uh, tempo override. We're gonna flash with the tempo. We're gonna set this from preset. We're now gonna to go to an IA button. What we're now going to do, we'll name this tempo again, just so we're nice and clear. And because we've set up this macro, we don't actually have to do a bunch of individual actions again. We can actually just recall the macro that we've already set up and we'll set it to zero. That's the macro number that we listed in the, that page and we are good to go. Let's upload our changes and we are now going to go here. So we are locked in. We have a tempo set, we're playing, but then our drummer gets a new interpretation of what it means to play on tempo, so we need to adjust with the drummer. We're now gonna go to the PBC and we're gonna tap in a new tempo to line up with our drummer. 
So as you can see, the drummer has now settled on 93.8 as we're tapping along. The chorus modulation is also now in sync and we can keep playing with the drummer. So as you can see, you can now have a predetermined or preset tempo for your whole board, all your pedals that require tempo control. You can also adjust that tempo on the fly to suit wherever your band is at at that moment. It's a really powerful way of controlling tempo across your whole board. I hope this made sense today. Put any questions you have below and put any MIDI related video ideas you have and we'll make sure we get back to you on those as well. The last couple of videos have been from suggestions from people that have been watching the channel and we love knowing what you guys want to learn more about. If you want the PBC file from today, just comment, give me the file and I will send you a link. Hope that was helpful. We'll see you guys again next week for another MIDI related video on the Goodwood Audio YouTube channel.